There we are recording. We are recording. And after a pretty long hiatus, we, we are back, gentlemen. How are we both doing? Bumble? Well, we've been busy, haven't we? We're busy. Every one of us is busy and it's nice to just sit down. Day before county championship starts, and we'll talk to Rushy about that because I am so excited. I always am, always have been waiting for county championship to come down. I'm going to Old Trafford tomorrow. Uh, Lancashire plays Surrey, and I'm going to stay overnight and have a bloody good do. Are you, are you, are you, are you just spectating? I don't, I'm only spectating. I've got, I, I'm a vice president and a life member, so. This is the best bit. I can get a free lunch. I can get my lunch. They throw me lunch in. And I think it's probably, I think I get six a season. What's the yeah. forecast in Manchester, Bumble? Is it full days play? I think they're okay. I mean, yesterday, I'm north of York. Yesterday, we had a fabulous day. And today, it hasn't stopped raining. But I, I think we're okay uh, over in Manchester um, tomorrow and Friday. Good covering. It drains pretty well, so... And two good teams. I think Lancashire and Surrey are going to have some good players out. Jimmy will be playing, of course, Jimmy. He, he, what he, he, he's ridiculous. He's, he's over 40 years of age. He's ridiculous. <laughs> Still doing the business, isn't he? Fabulous. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, Mr Rushworth, where, 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 where are you this evening? Uh, I'm currently down in Taunton. Um, I always get excited this time of year, um, but I think it's the first time in a good few years where I've actually felt nervous. Yes, um, yeah, you will. Obviously, there's, there's a bit more, it's a bit different to, to the last 10, 12 years. Um, so hopefully I'll be making my debut against Somerset um, down in sunny old Taunton. But like Bumble's just said, we got here about one o'clock and it's rained non-stop. Um, so I'm not sure what the outfield would be like down here. But so you Come up against Bancroft. You'll know Bancroft, won't you, from doing? Yeah. yeah, bumped into him on the stairs on the way up this morning. Just give him, just dropped the shoulder on him. Um, but now, nah, <laughs> good, good to see him. Obviously, I'll, I'll try and blow his front pad off. Um, come eleven o'clock tomorrow if we win the toss. But um, now nah, it'll be a good game. They've obviously got some new signings. I think we we should have a couple of debutants in the Warwickshire team. Um, we've got a former Lancashire bowler, Hassan Ali, turned up this week. Bumble. Yeah, he's a good bowler. Uh, give give you everything. Give he, you everything. Uh, he's he's a character. He's a funny bloke. But yeah, he's got very very good skills. There's a, there's a lot, you know, when you sort of come across the Pakistani lads, they've got great senses of humour. I've I've been out in Dubai and I work with Wakar and Wazim, two of the greatest. I mean, they're funny fellas. They're really good. Hassan Ali is another. Um, so, it, I mean, you've got a good fixture there. That's a good fixture to start. But with, with your moving counties, and you mentioned, I understand that you're going to be a little bit nervous. Have you found a mate? Who's, who's, who do you, I mean, you'd have had a, a couple of good mates at Durham. So who's your, who's your good mates at Warwickshire? Um, I've probably sort of been closer to Rhodes, Will Rhodes. Um, obviously, he's a northerner, or I'm saying northerner, he's York, Yorkshire lad. Mm -hmm. uh, I've actually become quite good friends with Mike Burgess. Um, I've been living in his spare room for, for a little bit um, over the winter, so he's been quite good. Um, so they'll be the guys I kind of look to bef before the toss. Um, I'll probably gravitate towards them in the warm-ups just when the nerves are building up. But I think it's one of those things, I'm sure most sportsmen have it, you're nervous before the game, but as soon as the whistle goes or you step over the boundary rope, and you, you're about to do your job, I think that's when the nerves will go. Um, but now nah, there will be nerves half ten tomorrow how, morning, I'm bloody sure. How different has it been for you? Because obviously, it's like what you said there, Ted, you've literally spent your entire career <laughs> at Durham, and this is like, obviously it's the same game and all that kind of stuff, but you're in a brand new set or with a brand new set of lads, like, how old are you now? 40, 41? <laughs> <laughs> 36. Like, well, how, di how, how different has it been? Though? Just the whole just the whole adventure, I guess, because it's from from the get-go, you start, when was it? Last November or whatever it was. Uh, end of, end of uh, first week of October, uh, first week of November, I came down. Mm -hmm. um, it's different. Like you say, it's the same game, doing the same job, doing the same gym routine, the same cricket skills. It's just new surroundings, new people. Um, different venues, 
obviously for me it was getting used to traffic in the morning, driving in. Um, so it, like you say, it is exactly the same game, but it's almost trying to not not prove myself, but kind of show people, show different people, new fans, members, you know, teammates that you know I, I've still got it. I can still do a job. Um, so people say that there's nothing to prove. Where actually, in my head, I, you know, I, there's a lot for me to try and prove. You want to you want to play. You want to be successful, do well, and win matches for whoever you play for. Um, so I'm desperate to get out there tomorrow. Hopefully we win the toss and ball on a nice green seamer and just get that first wicket under the belt. I mean, it's a different age now that, that when, when I was playing at 36, you, you were well spent. But you'll feel that you've got two or three years left in you. And what you're just saying there is at 36, you're still hungry to play and you've still got ambition to do it, to do the job. What you do is get people out and rattle into that front pad. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? Hundred percent. I mean, we joked just before we started recording. Um, Jimmy Anderson's about to line up for Langs tomorrow. Yeah, uh, and he's still doing the business of Test cricket. You know, mm -hmm. Steve Orr retired last year at forty-six. He's yeah. still trying to get a county, I believe. Um, right. So there's absolutely there's no reason why you know you can't be going in, into your late thirties, early forties. Um, so as long as you're hungry and you want to compete, then why the hell not? Yeah, and, and of course, as the body holds up, as the body holds up. There's some players that they, they're spent, absolutely gone. But if your body's holding up and you talk about the gym and the fitness, 36 is no number now. It really isn't. No, absolutely agree. Um, absolutely agree. So I'm still feeling good. I still want it. I want to succeed. I want to, want to do well. I want to take wickets. Um, you know, I'd love to win another championship before I finish. That's the goal. I, I, I've got to ask you a question. Are you finding your way around Birmingham? No, nah, not at all. Sat now. <laughs> No, I'm talking about the sort of uh, after uh, I pray ski after oh, the game. The hot, the hot spots. In Birmingham. Oh, uh, not yet, not yet. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> During the season, I think after after a couple of wins, I'll try and get the young lads to to show me the ropes. If you like a pub, if you like a real ale pub, now I'll just give you this. Don't tell everybody this. The Craven Arms. Right. Cra where, where is this? It's just behind, you know, that mailbox and the yep, Malmö. Yep, yep. It's just behind there, just tucked up a side street. Top place. By the, along, along by the canal? No, that, that, that's the tap and spile that by the canal. I don't know yep. whether it's still open. Upstairs right. and down. But the, you, you're craving arms. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody about it. Uh, what are you something there? what are you something there? Uh, just a small James, and it's cold. Oh. It's, like having, it's like having Foxy back, Lord. <laughs> I, I was with him a couple of nights ago. Um, it, it was a sad time. One of our, uh, both of us are from Accrington, and one of our great mates passed away, and we were at the funeral. And I give him a real big hug, Foxy. He, his beard's going longer, it's going whiter. And I can't believe this lad was such a dasher. When he was playing, he was unbelievably drop-dead gorgeous. I got uh, told he was a model. I, I'm telling you, I, I, he, he had a lot. And now, now he's got this beard and he ain't got hair on his head. Uh, was, his, his hands full of, was his hands full of paint? Uh, oh, he's painting, yeah. yeah. He, lo he loves it. I bumped into him a few weeks ago. It was the, the inaugural Durham Hall of Fame dinner um, up at the Riverside a few weeks ago when he was there. So I had a, had a catch-up with him then. Yeah. Good man. He was in good spirits. We'll have no, to I try didn't... and get him. We'll have to try and get him back on. We'll, we'll try and coax well, him out of. of well, he, I, he's he's painting. He's he's he, he told me that Jack Russell got him painting again. He painted yeah. when he was at school and college and so on. And he said he and, you know I can do it. And he, he's been his salvation. Graham Graham Fowler's had problems. He always had had, had problems, but he, he's absolutely chipper at the minute. And it's painting that's got him going. He loves it, doesn't he? Like... Serious passion for it. Yeah, good. It's like me and me allotment. I've got an allotment. You know, I'm 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 not I'm not playing cricket. I've got a mate who's just turned up from Pockley from France. He's been living in France for 25 years. He's older than me. I'm 76, and this geezer's older than me. And he's just signed up to play for the village third eleven. And he oh. says to me, "Why don't you come and play?" But is he crackers? Must be absolutely mad. Jeez, and he, 39 in the month, I'm thinking about wrapping in. 
<laughs> yeah, amazing. My allotment, allotment's great. I love an allotment. Um, I've got a, I've got a mate up the road in the next village. Um, he's a crime scene investigator, CSI, and he's he's got me into this allotment and a greenhouse. I've got everything going: chilies, cucumbers, tomatoes, potatoes, a lot of it. So I'm just hoping it's a good summer. So Mark, you kind of get in the shops will I come will I come down to yours for some? I'm gonna I think I'm like cucumber shortage. I've never seen a cucumber in the supermarket for about three months. Well, I'm gonna grow all my all go. I've got all, I've got lettuce all over the show. I've got everything. And I've just put it up, eh? Self-sufficient to way forward. It's like the good life. You won't remember it, you're too young. You're a good life. <laughs> they lived off the land. Brilliant it was. You got so, chickens in them? I have. I've got. I've got three chickens: Hilda, Maud, and Dot. And Hilda's down to us. Hilda's not not doing now, but the others are laying every day. Brilliant. Oh, God. Bumble, just on. The, we'll go back to the championship. Um, what are your predictions? Do you, have you have you followed the ins and outs around the county circuit, or yeah. are you, or are you just purely Lancashire? No, um, I think Surrey are the team to beat. Um, I think that Lancashire will push them. Hampshire will be always roundabout. They've got a good attack. And they've, they seem to have lost that happy Hampshire tag. They seem to have lost that. And if you're looking in Division 1, I think there's some some really smart teams. And I know you didn't mention Warwickshire there. It's the ground running. The, one, the team that hits the ground running and gets good confidence... And they've got the ability to take 20 wickets. That's what you want. Take 20 wickets. Don't worry about the runs. Take, get 20 wickets and you're in with the show. Yeah. I agree. Right. There's, there's this thing going around at the moment, isn't there, about they're going to, all the counties, or they, they, they're going to take a kind of different approach to games and they're going to be more attacking and more sporting declarations and all that kind of stuff. But uh, Rush, I guess, as a bowler, are you kind of licking your lips at the thought of teams coming out and attacking from ball one in April uh, on green tops, or are you a little bit more apprehensive, or what? I honestly don't know. I, I understand everyone's talking about it, and all these lads with ambition to play for England, if they want to get in, they've got to play that way, which, which is absolutely fair enough. But I don't know, you've got to look at it. These guys in the England team are playing on the best pitches in the world, they're the best players in the country, so they, they're able to do that. Um, obviously, if you go somewhere, I don't know, the Riverside or Chelmsford, April, May, where it nips around a bit, how much is that going to allow for this expansive cricket? Um, and is everyone going to do it? Is everyone from the from the counties going to buy into it? Or is it just going to be a certain one or two? Um, I don't think anyone really fully knows how teams are going to play early on. I can't wait, me to see. I, th I think there'll be some there'll be some interesting cricket either way, um, mm. but it'll be it'll be exciting and fun to watch. It, it, Johnny, Johnny, if, if I were coaching now, I would say that McCullough must push the button. Him, Stokes, and Key have pushed the button. And if you listen to a lad like Asib Amid, I thought Asib Amid had everything, and he, he lost it completely at Langs. He became a monumental blocker. When anybody bowled and got one past his outside edge, he shadowed the same shot 18 times before mm. the next delivery. He's had a good move to Nottinghamshire, and he's obviously ambitious. Mm. If he wants to play for England, he has to play that way. He has to play the way that fits into what they're doing. And so, you know, I think it's a push-the-button situation, and players who have ambition to play for England will be giving it everything. Tell you what I, I am in favour of that's come in, all the new new changes in the rules. I'm saying rules and bonus points. Uh -huh. Obviously, the points from a draw have gone from eight to five. Uh -huh. and the batting bonus, bonus points are now up from, what, 200 to 250. And the last one is 450. So you've got to score more runs to get more points. Um, and there's, mm -hmm. there's less points for a draw. So it is all, you know, they're the gearing up towards attacking, aggressive, winning cricket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what people want to see, isn't it? You know, you don't, want, you don't want to watch a, a game over four days where the team will bat for two days and then the other team bats for a couple of days. 
Well, your, your county championship now is competing with T20 and everything else that comes along, yeah. Frank cricket. And so you've got to sex it up. And that's the way that you'll do it. If you want to play for England, there's, there's, they're telling you there's a way that you play. And so the, the other thing we talk about is Johnny Bairstow comes back after injury. He's going to play in the test team. That's what McCullum said. Yeah. Who's he play instead of? I mean, if he bats seven and keeps wicket, he fits what they've got. He fits into their team plan. And so everybody's saying, oh, folks, is this, that and the other. He is. He is. Is, is everything they say is the best in the world? He might not play because yeah. he doesn't. He doesn't fit what they've got. But McCullum might spring a, a, a real surprise and say Johnny Bairstow opens the batting. He's tried that. Has he not tried that before? He's opened the batting in a couple of tests, hasn't he? No, he's batted it, it, everywhere. It, he's batted it, everywhere. It was Jason Roy, if you remember, Chris, that they opened in the Ashes. With the wanted the aggressive opener and they open with Jason Roy. They got the wrong wrong bloke. They got the wrong one. Yeah. It'll yeah. be interesting that. I've heard I've heard people on about Stokes going up to open, but uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Too, again, inter- the too, side too, interesting. too much as captain with it. The, the, it's too much as captain with the way that he plays. You yeah. know, he his involvement in the game. He'll want a ball and all, won't he? He's, he's going to be there as a fifth bowler and all. You can't yeah. open the bottom cup and, and be a fifth bowler. It'll be, well, it'll be extremely difficult, but I guess if anyone can do it, it'll be Stokes, you like, to be fair. be interesting. But, yeah. So, Bumble, uh, cast your mind back. When when were you in Dubai? Um, January 13th to February 13th. Um, a good time. It was fine. I mean, I had to just just be a bit careful health wise, um, yeah. but I had some good mates there. I had that that complete nutter from uh, Ireland, Niall O'Brien. He were there. O'Brien were there, keep, keeping everybody entertained. Simon Duell, who's I mean, I've got a pair of you won't believe it. I'm wearing a pair of Simon Duell's trousers. He's <laughs> six foot four. And he got this pair of pants that didn't fit him. It, it didn't fit him. And I love it. I, I said, I'll have them, give them here. And so I got a beautiful pair of boss trousers. I've took them up about six inches and they fit brilliant. And so there's Ian Bishop there, Wakar and Wazim. We had a great time. It was lovely. It's nice getting back into it. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was fine. There are only six teams and yeah. there were three good teams, three good teams and, one, and three not great teams. But 250 million people watched it in India. Two hundred and fifty million. Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. That's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, and, and the, yeah. one of these teams were, you know, the Glazers at Man United. They, I mean, I think they're trying to sell the club. Yeah. But the Glazers, they had a team in this. There were only six teams, and the Glazers had a team. Wow! Any good? They, they were okay. I mean, we had forty-two players from the UK out there. Yeah, I'd, seen that. Joe Root was there, wasn't he? I'd, who? Joe Root was there. Just for a little while, they were coming in and going out, coming in, going out. Adam Lyons was with a team and he didn't play one game until the final. And, it, you know, he, he, he got 13, but um, he were out to a super catch. Um, but it was just dead simple. Six teams, they play each other five uh, t- twice. So they play 10 matches. You come to a semi-final and a final and off we went. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. But, um, we, we can't kind of end without talking about our impending night we've got planned Russia up in Sunderland. Yeah. With uh, Jeffrey Robert Thompson, <laughs> who, by the way, is is going to be he's going to be lively. He, he, it's the, these nights we're, we're doing with him and these critic clubs are definitely going to be lively. I reckon. Uh, I've had a Is your number money from across really well um, he, he's, he's got the shits with me because he, he thinks that since he hit me in the knackers in 1974 that, that I've been making money off it by telling the story yeah but, but you know he, so I texted him last night right I texted yeah. him last night I went we're, we're jumping on a podcast tomorrow night me Rushy and Bumble do you want to come on the reply not really <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 
I mean, he, he would. I've spent time with him, but I've, I've just heard that, that he's he thinks that I, I he said he, he doesn't have any talent. This bloke doesn't have any talent, <laughs> and he, I, I couldn't give a shit what he thinks. He's a great yeah. lad. <laughs> he was a super bowler, an absolute superstar as a bowler. He's a dead simple lad. He loves going out fishing on his boat, and I hope it's a great success. But I've yeah. been dinners with him. He is sensational, absolutely and, and sensational. The record, and, and we've also we've, we've got David Gower joining us for an event up in Sunderland. So it's the Saturday, the fifteenth of July, Tom O. And David Gower, who again, by oh, absolute gentleman, by the way, I've had a, again, I've had a couple of conversations with, with David Gower. He's he's tremendous. So that that that's going to be a great night up in Sunderland. So our last show of the summer, David Gower, Jeff Thompson up in Sunderland. We'll put the link on the socials and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure people have seen it, but yeah, be, he's be dead. A sensational night. Gower's Gower's dead posh, you know. He'll, you'll have know, to. Put, you're telling me. Sunderland, you'll have to put subtitles underneath. He said he'd never. He said he'd never been to Sunderland before. I was. I was. I was a little bit surprised There's when he told right. me that. <laughs> There's not much in Sunderland for him, really, is there? Um, I can't see him popping in the Alex for a pint. <laughs> we might take him. Well, we might take him. We might take him to Raya Saturday afternoon if he gets oh. up early enough. We'll take him up Raya for a for a beer. A I beer. Have... A beer. You've absolutely no price of a beer. Get some quality. So what? What? I'll tell you what he drinks. I'll tell you exactly what he drinks. Pellini Montrachet. You fucking joke, aren't you? They, they not only sell. They sell Blossom, it's, all Blossom, it's all Blossom Hill up here, mate. And the the other he, the other drink he, he's into is I think it's Bollinger Champagne. Bollinger. Yeah. I've heard of that one. I've not heard of the other one. He's got no chance. I'll tell you, Sunderland isn't ready for Gower. It'll be, it'll be, I'm not sure what was ready for someone, but he's keen. <laughs> um, there'll be a few people get gets their eyes open from both ways. Um, mind, I've heard I've heard Tom was quite extra in terms of stories and stuff. I reckon he's he'll fit right in in Sunderland. He talk, is he, talk and cheese. He he is bang on, and he doesn't care who's in the audience. No question, quiz question. Right, I found this out recently. His friends, right, and he stares at the house of an ex-footballer. I'll interrupt you, Mick Harford. Oh, you've spoiled me quiz question. There it is. There Who it is. Is a Sunderland lad. He's a, he's born and bred in Sunderland, Mickey Harford. So how on earth is he coming across him? I've got no idea. He, he, I, I've asked him. He didn't. He didn't quite seem to know how he knew him. But he stares at his house, and he's <laughs> apparently. He's apparently, though, Rush, he's coming along. Mick's going to be coming along to some of the shows we're doing with Tomo and the Critic Clubs. So that'll be that'll be good. Spend right, a bit of time nice. with Mick. He's a good man. We'll, we'll, we'll have a few things. In I know I've got a couple of mutual friends. I reckon I've well. been with a few talkings and saw Mick Harford. Good, actually. Good crack. Great lad, apparently. Real I, love, I love these nights, mate. Old, old school sportsman's dinners. You just don't get them enough anymore. But like, it's going to be brilliant, man. Um, so I'll be there fanboying it just as much as anyone else to be honest I don't know it's going to be weird isn't it but yeah we're going to, we'll have a good we'll have a we'll have a good summer but yeah Saturday 15th of July David Gower Jeff Thompson the Alexander in Sunderland we'll put the link on the socials and in the YouTube and one of you but yeah be good be good crack and anyway it's been, it's, it's been even better crack tonight this Bumble, do you turn up to? Will you go to all of Lancashire's games? No, no, no. I'll go to. I'll go a bit to Durham. I'll go a bit to Durham. I'll go a bit to Yorkshire and a bit to Lanx. And right. I, I might watch the local team, a couple of local teams around here, Sessi and Sherry Fulton Bridge. Do a bit of that. Good lad. If you uh, if you pop down to Old Trafford when Warwickshire are there, you'll have to let us know. But yeah, I will do. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. Right, I'm going to watch the football. Right, we'll be in touch. But good, thanks, lads. Good, good. Uh, right, good crap. Nice to good catch you. Good luck. Good luck tomorrow. Yeah, Cheers, Bumble. Enjoy your day. Bye. 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 You're, pitch you're, black sitting, here. you're sitting in the dark there, like me. Well, it's obviously got dark, hasn't it? 
Dag, vast. Dag.